going to be sharing with you in this video a dream. A dream that I had last night. And uh, this dream completely opened my mind up to what reality is. Like what is reality? You know, because we like to always uh, put reality into some box. Uh, but the truth is, sometimes there are principles to life and, uh, you know, questions, there's questions that you can ask yourself like, is good real? Is evil real? I'm going to share with you a dream so that you can come to this conclusion yourself and really contemplate this. So, so what actually happened to me? Well, you know, in this dream, uh, what happened was, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just falling asleep, right? I'm just falling asleep. And, uh, you know, and, and this, is, well, this is going to sound crazy, but, you know, maybe you've had a similar experience and maybe this might resonate for you in a particular way. So, you know, I'm just going to sleep and, uh, you know, resting, you know, in this uh, meditative uh, state. I'm just meditating, falling asleep, uh, resting, you know, build, building up, uh, you, know, you know, my energy a little bit. And, uh, you know, what starts to happen is that I'm just kind of drifting into this 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 dream state but but it's happening consciously sort of sort of like a like an astral uh, like an, an astral projection kind of but uh, it was it was a, it felt very like dreamy but it also felt very very real okay and uh, you know you know call me crazy or or, or, or whatever but th this is what happened so uh, you know there's these you know as I'm, as I'm drifting into this state there's these there's these entities just flying past me. I guess you could call them dark, dark entities, like dark, dark forces, just like dark uh, bubbles, like parasites, and uh, you know, not, 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 like, uh, just weird things. Almost, it, it almost felt like this is gonna sound crazy. It almost felt like a repressed kind of memory, like something that that actually happened. Anyways, we'll get to that in just a little bit. And I'm, I'm kind of like dodging these these entities, right? Like riding sort of that, that vibrational wave, okay? And as I'm doing this, as I'm, as I'm, as I'm drifting into this, this sort of conscious dream state, I just, I awoke, okay? I awoke. And believe it or not, I'm in a cell. But it's like a, but I'm talking like, not, not like necessarily like a, like like a like a prison cell. Like yes, yes, it was a it, it was a prison cell, to say the least. But it was an extremely intelligent prison cell. Almost like a matrix. <laughs> like imagine the the movie The Matrix, but even more real than you could ever imagine. Even more real than that movie. And so there I am, and. I'm just realizing that I'm like the basically like the only conscious being in this in this sea of just complete unconsciousness and complete deception. Just complete unconsciousness, complete deception. And then I just and I just and I just wake up and I, I kid you not what happened uh, oh I forgot to mention be, before before this this happened um I actually was conscious of the fact I had I had I became conscious of like a repressed memory where uh, what happened was that quite literally speaking I was raped <laughs> but not not in like a like a like a sexual way but I guess you know life force energy is our consciousness uh, you know life force but I was hijacked almost it, it, it wasn't my choice and what happened was, past my free will, I was put into this, uh, you know, in, into this, into this, into this sort of matrix uh, system, and uh, it, it was it was quite miraculous because uh, I, I knew I knew for one hundred percent fact I had I had a, I had a, I had a conscious I had a remembrance of, of a repressed memory that I had where this actually happened to me and this is going to sound crazy but this is what happened and I was put there completely beyond my will. It's almost like there was there was lots of uh, intelligent, like overly intelligent technology attached to like 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 my, my my spinal cord, 
and my, my heart, it was like just entities, just entities, entities across entities just attached to me, totally attached to me. And this is completely beyond my choice. I had no choice around this, right? Because it was just basically energetic rape. It's the only way I can explain it, honestly. And I became conscious that, that I'm in this, this sea of unconsciousness. And uh, the only thing that I could do, I felt, it's going to sound crazy, but in, in this dream, and this felt very, very real, by the way, I felt like, I felt like a... Uh, because I was conscious, so I was kind of like loose dreaming. I was, I was aware of my breathing. I was, I was kind of conscious in this state. And I, what I saw was a, a magic wand on the floor, or at least I interpreted uh, I, in, this, in this sea of patterns and unconsciousness and conditioning, I saw a, 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 a light, a magic wand, and it was, it was a glowing, right? And it was a calling to me. So I grabbed the wand. I started like, like rubbing it on my heart and... Uh, and kind of like you see people like cleansing their energy with sage. I took this wand as like as I guess a permission slip in this reality. I started rubbing it on my heart, and I started, started, and, and, and then and then I disconnected the whatever was attached to like my spinal cord and all these things, and then I broke free and I was conscious. And then, and it was very interesting. I, I, I was like just I was I was absolutely shocked, absolutely shocked. I was like, is this, is this really happening to me? I, I mean, I couldn't really like I had any rational thinking, but I was just conscious that this is what's happening to me. Right? And then so as this is happening to me, and this felt very real again, by the way, um, what, what I did was, um, I, I, had, I, had, I had a telepathic thought, I had a telepathic thought, right? I had a telepathic thought, and then I, and it be, I became conscious that uh, whoever put me in this, in this, you know, matrix prison, uh, extremely intelligent AI, some people call them arch archons and, and uh, you know, whatever, whatever dark force put me here, uh, you know, became aware, and again, we'll talk about what I, my opinion on that in another video. That that I was here, and they got really angry. They got really, really angry, and they started to they started to get mad at me for for becoming conscious and having my my, my sovereignty back. Crazy, right? And then I got I already I already forgot what happened because it was just it, but but uh you know a woman came in and she and she started yelling and she says I don't remember exactly what she said but she said something along along the lines of like don't move. Like in a really aggressive, angry tone, really aggressive tone, and then and then um, you know I, I didn't have enough consciousness and and will and life force to to escape this this matrix that I was in. I didn't have enough will. It's just a, it just I just became conscious, and then she she really mad at me. She's like, "Don't move!" She got really mad, and then she plugged me back into this 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 thing, completely against my free will, locked me back into this crazy matrix that I had no intention of being in whatsoever. It quite literally felt like like alien, like an intel. I mean, it felt like another like another like another human being. Like it was just another human being, but but it, but it wasn't actually a human being. It was it was it was cloaking itself as a human being. In reality, it was it was like a something. I mean, I don't know what to call it. It's just something extremely dark. It locked me back into this this machine. It was quite literally a machine, an extremely intelligent AI machine, right? Extremely intelligent. And then I woke back into my normal, my normal reality. Okay, so that's 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 what happened to me. Okay, and uh, you know, you know, leave a leave a comment down below. Have you ever had a similar experience? And what do you think about this? I think that our our dreams can teach us and help us to remember the truth of reality because because we can actually uh, become more conscious of that 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 unconscious uh, subconscious mind okay so you know I'm going to be sharing more thoughts on this in future videos but uh, that's what I think and I want to uh, you know I'm not going to share too much in this video I'm going to be recording more videos in the future on this you know as I digest this but I just wanted to record this and ask you what are your thoughts on this? I have a pretty good stance on what happened to me because in my personal opinion, there's a very, very little difference between uh, reality and a dream. Life is actually some kind of a dream, but, but, there's, but there's conscious dreams where you can consciously have free will and sovereignty or you can lose yourself in some deception. Now, now let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think about this and uh, you know, what do you think? What do you think about that? Have you had a similar experience? Let me know. And uh, yeah, with that, I conclude this video as always. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video.